Zero. Execution of celestial destruction! Damn you, Kenshiro. You lost. Hit the road, Thouser. What? Kenshiro is right. It is time you left, Emperor Thouser. You dare give me orders, you wench? Kisana! You okay? Jagre! And... Rihaku? Thouser, your soldiers have been routed. The last of them are retreating as we speak. What? It's time for you to go. This town will never bow to you. Whoa! You're gonna let him walk away? I know you're not a man to surrender, but you'll gain nothing today by staying. Thouser. Kenshiro, let me ask you. What? My army won't be the last to invade Eden. Will you fight them all back? All for the sake of your love? I will. <laughs> Fine. If you are so determined to cling to your sad little love, let us see how far it can take you. I'll enjoy watching it slowly break you, Kenshiro. <laughs> Thank you for helping Eden in its time of need. We were simply fulfilling our duty as her guardians, nothing more. And now, we must go. You sure about this, Kisana? Set him loose, and he's bound to come creeping back. For now, it should suffice. At any rate, there's been enough bloodshed for one day. I appreciate your help as well, Ray. How are your wounds? Nothing major. But Emperor Thouser? He'll definitely return to settle the score. Hmm, if he does, we'll whoop his ass all over again. But you, Kisana, showed real courage. I see why you're called the Holy Maiden. Our Lady's bravery was commendable indeed. Kisana? I was so frightened. Kisana! What's gotten into you? I was powerless. My father would never have let this happen. Without your help. This entire city would have fallen to the Holy Imperial Army. I'm not strong enough to be called a ruler. I've let everyone down. Kisana. Huh? Kisana. You are not alone. The people of Eden love and support you. You've become a beacon of hope to them because of who you are. Ken... You're not your father. There's no point trying to surpass him. 
You protect this city in a way that only you can. Ken's right! And I'll beat down anyone who says otherwise! Irene and I have already thrown a lot on your shoulders. If we can ease your burdens now, we'd be happy to help. Everyone... I... Thank you. Boys, take those supplies that away. When you're done, we move the rubble on the west side. Huh? Oh. Crying out loud. Damn it. Shit. All right. Whoa. Huh? Huh? What the? Huh? Should I put this? Right! Put it up against the wall over there! Listen up, everyone! Long as we work together, we can turn this place around! Doesn't matter if you're a watchman or a convict! We can do this together! We can make Eden better than it ever was! Yeah! yeah <laughs> Ain't that right, Kisana? Citizens of Eden, it is time for this city to change. We have protected the blessings of Sphere City by building walls and limiting the population. We maintained order by turning away those in need, so that only a select few could live in bliss. This, however, was not the path of justice. In a perfect city, the strong must safeguard the weak. Society can only rise as high as its lowest members. From this day forth, the gifts of Eden are no longer a treasure to be protected, but to be shared. Therefore, today I declare that Eden's gates shall be open to all! Whoa, really? We will open our gates, release any prisoners, and welcome all newcomers with open arms. Wouldn't that be inviting the Holy Imperial Army and the Army of Ruin? That is a danger we cannot ignore. But if we all work together, we can protect each other and live without fear. Eden is going to become greater than ever. 
by the hands of its own people. Kisana is shaping up to be a remarkable leader. Yeah. This world needs a hero brave enough to make their ideals a reality. You're right. By the way, Ken, did you hold someone at the casino at gunpoint last night? What are you talking about? I thought as much. See, recently a man with seven scars was spotted causing trouble around town. What? He wore a black helmet and packed one hell of a punch. According to Jagre, the Watchmen are on the hunt. If his power came from Hokuto Shinken... Right. It's the man who kidnapped Irie. Could it be? Ken, do you know who he is? Yes, I do. A man I used to call my brother. Brother? One of the other Hokuto Shinken disciples? His name is Jaggy. A few years ago, he tried to kill me, rather than see me named successor. I fought him off, shattering his skull in the process. I haven't seen him since, so I took him for dead. I see. That helmet must be to hide his head injuries. Yeah. If Jaggy actually is the man who abducted Irie, I won't rest until I finish what you started. Please, will you help me find him? Of course. As the successor of Hokuto Shinken, it's on me to clean up the mess I made. 